and blocking time to do what it is you need to do, whether it's uh, calling your people, uh, doing your planning, your marketing or whatever, but to treat it like a job. You know, you can spend all day on uh, social media or chatting with things that aren't productive for your business. I'm Maud Leger, and this is the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast, where we crack the code to real estate success. Learn from top realtors, entrepreneurs, and innovators about how to grow your business as we discuss real estate success stories, mindset, processes, motivations, and the key to their success. Check out our podcast episodes every Monday to crack the code to success for your real estate business. This week, I'm speaking with Catherine Barnett from Remax. Catherine is now planning ahead for 2022. Are you? I was excited to hear how she time blocks from her vision and strategic plan with a focus on lead generating activities. She also believes that a strong plan combined with positivity and a mindset of accountability can lead to great returns. Let's get to my chat with Catherine. Hi Catherine, thanks for joining us on the episode. What is the key to your success? Oh, hey, Mode. Thanks for having me. Um, great question. Uh, I think there's always a bunch of things to success, not just one thing. Um, I think business planning is really important. Um, just doing that for next year now, um, getting a vision and a plan in place, and then figuring out what are the activities and that I need to do, how many people do I need to talk to, what kind of marketing do I need to do. Um, and for me, just keeping a really positive mindset is uh, important for me as well. Looking after my live work balance and, um, of course, hard work. Yeah, I love it. I love the positive mindset. Where, how do you cultivate that positiveness in your life? Um, well, it's an ongoing thing. I mean, sometimes it comes more naturally than others, but I think reading, learning, um, doing different uh, courses. I did a course a few weeks ago, which really just helped kind of motivate me. Um, taking regular vacations, which has been a challenge lately. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, exercise and just trying to stay positive. Also, the people that are around us, right? Um, that kind of thing. Yeah, I love it. You said you're doing your business planning right now. So you're ahead and prepare for 2022. What are you looking forward to the most in the next year? Um, well, I think I want to grow my business a little bit more. Nice. Um, and I want to plan my vacations. I look forward to that, my time off. And that allows me, so when I am working, to be focused and motivated because I know because in real estate, we can work sometimes, you know, 24 seven. So to have your time blocked for work and your time off with family is important to have that. So if you plan it, it just goes so much better. Yeah. It gives you the harmony on your day to day. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then when a lot of real estate agents don't like to do lead generation activities, but you said you do, you plan them ahead. So what kind of activities do you focus on for your growth? Well, I've been in the business a long time. So we focus, I focus on um, repeat referral business, my clients. So uh, typically we do a couple of client events a year. Um, we haven't been able to for the last uh, couple of years. We did do one this year, um, but it was kind of a outside pickup thing. Yeah. Um, or so it's, it's keeping in touch with past clients, doing pop buys, events, calling them. So I'm hoping next year we can actually see people in person again because that's uh, really fun. Yes. Yeah. That's a big miss right now from a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What was a defining moment for you in your career where you actually felt success? What you, you felt it? Oh, that's a neat question. I, I would say, um, you know, once I uh, hired a full time administrator, um, that just gave me freedom to just be. Yeah doing real estate activities, talking to people, um, listing homes, doing showings. And um, it was actually scary at the time. It's a leap of faith for a single agent to hire an admin, um, okay. but it just, it helps uh, provide better service. And also um, that, you know, my time can be fully working in the actual real estate, not doing all the paperwork and 
even the marketing or updating the website and things like that. Um, so yeah, that feels really great. I have a, an amazing admin, an amazing team. So that just is super helpful. Nice. I love it. <laughs> what quality do you have that got you to where you are today? You know, just learning um, the goal setting again is important and just having a vision. Um, I think, you know, you just have to work hard and be consistent in this business and also providing excellent service for our clients. Um, I think, I guess there's a bit of luck, but just, you know, learning and being able to really listen to your clients, provide a great service um, and, um, and being able to, to work and do the hard things that um, real estate is, is simple, but not easy. I guess like any business, right? It's just being able to make your, be able to do those things that you need to do. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I love that simple, but not easy because there's a lot to put in Yeah, for you to be successful. I love it. How can realtors stay on top of their game? How do you keep current? How do you keep busy in your business? Uh, well, always learning. Um, I think it's important to either be reading or, you know, talking to busy people, talking to realtors, uh, having build, building those networks, even across Canada to understand what's happening in different markets. Um, yeah. But to stay on, so stay on top of it, to understand, you know, the trends, that's really important and just consistent work, which means basically talking to people about real estate, whether you do it on social media, whether you do it on the phone, whether you door knock, um, that's, that's really what keeps your business growing or whether it's, you know, just talking to your past clients. So yeah, that's what we have to do, right? <laughs> Very good. You branded yourself and your team uh, with, with like you were strong on your branding early on as a realtor. Why did you do it? And why was it important to you for marketing? Branding is, um, I think it's a, just a matter of looking at what your values are, what your goals are, and then creating a brand that portrays that so people can see really who you are because, um, you know, so many of my clients are just amazing people. So through what you put out there, you attract similar, right? So, you know, kind of a... Uh, we take a consultant approach. Um, we're not pushy. So like a simple, um, you know, experience that is, is uh, wonderful for our clients. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. What kind of systems do you have in place with your team uh, that help service your clients better? Well, our, uh, we have, we have a lot of systems in place. Um, we have our, uh, our man looks after most of it, but, um, you know, we have checklists for before the house goes up, when the house is listed, the marketing after, um, what, what we need to do before closing, after closing, keeping it in touch, um, for buyers, you know, we have a process and systems that we take them through to show them, you know, what it's going to look like and yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Important. Very good. What's one business strategy that you've implemented that everybody should be doing that or that you're planning to do in 2022? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, time blocking our work is super important, especially with a lot of us working from home. Um, I've worked from home for many, many years, but, you know, going in your office, closing the door and blocking time to do what it is you need to do, whether it's uh, calling your people uh, doing your planning, your marketing or whatever, but to treat it like a job because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can spend all day on uh, social media or chatting with things that aren't productive for your business. So it's important to have your plan and then block it and say, okay, I'm going to go and do this in these times. Right. Yeah. I love it. That's so good. <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever received? I think just keeping your mindset right is super important um, and keeping yourself in a good place. So you can also do a good job for your clients, but also enjoy what you're doing. So, um, I think that that's super important, just staying positive, always learning and growing, mm -hmm. uh, is, is important. Nice. Very good. Where do you look for, for mindset help, uh, books and podcasts or. 
Yeah, books, um, online stuff. I did have uh, a coach for a couple of years that also helped me quite a bit. Um, I think, you know, you can have a mentor, a friend, or whoever the people around you that are positive. And if you don't have that, you you would have to go to books and online stuff. So it's always a mix. It's always changing for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we talked about your planning and for the year that you're doing now, how do you keep yourself accountable once the year starts and then challenges come along throughout the year? Um, I, I don't really have trouble with that. It just uh, kind of works for me. Um, so I don't really, I've never really had someone keeping me accountable. I just, I just look at my stuff and review it and I just do it. So That's good. <laughs> good planning ahead will get you to where you want to be. I love it yeah that's amazing well thank you so much for sharing all of your vision your tips and tricks to plan for next year thank you Mo. thanks for having me thanks for joining subscribe to our podcast realtors conspiracy today